Hello and welcome to this completely boring game. Well, to be honest, it's not that boring. Well, actually, yeah, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I am sorry. I don't really want to upset any fans of this game. But yeah, you know what? I'm just going to speak my mind. If you don't like it, then that's that. I don't care. You hear me? I don't care. So yeah, this is a completely boring, waste of money game. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if I just threw it out the window after I completed it. Yeah, I'm going to complete it. Somehow, I'm going to complete it. I I've, I've read that there's not much to go in this game anyway. Thank God. I'm not a really big fan of it. As I've been saying throughout the start of this game in many, 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 many videos, it's just way, way, way too much dialogue. And I think I drone on and ramble and stuff about random nonsense and crap. But this game is worse than me. And, yeah, it's bad. It's really, really bad. If I wanted to read, I would get a damn book and just probably curl up on the sofa, perhaps on my human's knee and just read a book. And, yeah, probably one of her books. But yeah, yeah, I, I could do that, but, you know, this is a game, it's supposed to have gameplay, you know, where you control the character and do stuff. I mean, the cutscenes in this just have the character standing there, talking Japanese, which for many is boring anyway, because there's a lot of people that just don't really bother with games that are just Japanese. And, ugh, you know, it does my head in. Not a fan of this game. And maybe I should have, like, read into it before I got it, but... I've seen other, like, fake games, and that has lots of gameplay. I mean, there was one... I think it was only out in Japan. The PSP. Now, that one looked really good. I wish they'd remake that one for the PlayStation. That, cause that, that was a proper... It was an RPG. Uh, but it was fate in the set in the fate universe, and it, it looked brilliant. Unfortunately, I can't play it though. But I would really like to. They should have made a remake of that instead of making this piece of pointless crap. Um. Oh yeah, I did a whoopsie daisy. I kind of. uh I kind of sprinkled all my cat lid over all over the keyboard and well it kind of made a mess of things. And yeah. It was my human's fault. Let's just play with all my human. Well, what I'm trying to say is that I recorded some stuff, but due to a technical error, it wasn't recording when I thought it was, and it screwed everything up. I don't know how else to put it. It screwed everything up. So I have to go to gallery and find the cutscene that uh, I recorded or thought I recorded. Uh, this fell on the fence. So yeah, so we can actually keep up with the story because there's pointless recording and continuing with some of the cutscenes missed out. So, yeah, unfortunately we have to do it again, but here we go. Um, was this the one? Flame poem C5? Yeah, I think this is the one. Okay, time to fall asleep during the cutscene. Yay. Where, where, where's my cat blanket? <laughs> Okay, as you see, we have different options available to choose from, which is actually a good part of the game. To be honest, in truth, 
fairness and all that behavior. This game is boring and completely a waste of money if you... how can I put it? Um, basically what I'm trying to say is the game is, like, the music, I mean, the music in this game is just fantastic, and has some of the best pieces of music in any game ever that I've ever played. I really like the music. And the gameplay, when you actually can actually move the character and fight stuff, is a pretty cool too. But then again, I've always been a fan of Dynasty Warriors, and that gameplay in those games. Yeah, it could be a bit repetitive at times, I'll admit, continuing to fight the same monsters over and over, but I enjoy a good hack and slash. So, the only gripe I hate with this game is, like I said, how long the dialogue goes on and the fact that characters don't do anything. I mean, look at this guy, he's just standing there. That's a good example right there. What about if he just moved around? You know, get off his, you know, lazy ass and done something, like fight something or something like that. I suppose this guy at the minute can't really do something like that, but what I'm trying to say is that it's not really well done. At least in my opinion, it's not. But anyway, I enjoy the fact that it's got these different options and that you can, it impacts the game. And, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, you can use, you can choose any of these options, it doesn't matter, because eventually you're going to have to anyway. So, we'll just pick the top option, because that's probably more convenient since we've already got it highlighted. So, yeah, let's go. Tell us more about the plan. God damn it, I've been muting the wrong bloody thing. Where the hell are we? I've been muting the game instead of my mic. I try to mute my mic so you can actually enjoy the uh, the cutscenes and stuff because I hate, I hate people talking about cutscenes. I don't know you love, but I hate it. Oh, it infuriates me. Um, hold on. Okay, right. That won't be happening again, so sorry about that. この優勢は。優勢は。惑星付近を通過する際、惑星上に存在する地的生命体の文明を破壊します。地球にも一度接近、通過を果たしており、そのおりには、ムーンセルのデータのうち、8割を侵食、破壊したと記録されています。Whoa! Well, so, as you can tell, Velber is quite the planet, huh? What, with 80% of the planet's surface was burnt to ash? Damn! What the hell is this Valber about? What exactly managed to cause so much damage to poor little Earth? <laughs> poor little Earth. <laughs> oh. Damn. ハカイされ尽くしたムーンセルの領域のうち再生不可能な侵食部分は凍結され切り離されました現在でいう未明領域がこれに当たります同時に地球上に存在していた有史以前の文明を完全に破壊しています空にベルバーが輝くとき月は砕け Wow, 
文明の敵そして人とその文明の全てを記録し続けるムーンセルオートマトンの敵それがついに現れたのですあの白いサーバントアルテラこそベルバーの先兵に違いありませんうん改めて聞くとさすがに固唾を飲んでしまうな優勢彗星が相手とはスケールがでかすぎるあれかロケットにまつわるサーバントを探し対決させるべきなのかロケットロケットぐぬぬさすがにそうは思い当たらぬそうですねフォン・ブラウンという人物がいたようですが西欧財閥が宇宙開発を凍結したため姿を消してしまったと言いますし残念です Well yeah that is a really big inconvenience that this von Braun went and just disappeared all of a sudden I mean where the hell could he have gone anyway uh I don't recall and then again it's been a few weeks since I last played this game and I didn't really recap so yeah I'm mean, basically no idea what happened prior to this part of the game so but anyway how does this Mr. Brainbox here, Archimedes, know so much? Was it like... Was it like told beforehand? Hmm. It seems a bit, you know, strange. Hmm. Anyway, he, uh, what I do know is that he definitely still needs a hair comb. I mean, look at that. What the hell is that on his head? Did he have a fight with an electric socket? Or is that some sort of like... I don't know. Some sort of brown bush he decided to pick from someone's garden and just plonk it on his head? Seriously. I've never seen a hairstyle like that. Um, maybe one of these kind ladies here will give him a hairbrush. That, that would be really nice if they did. Oh gosh, no mute in the mic. It's time to do a bit more reading. Okay, where are we? They might be overthinking, but I can barely think at all right now. The scale of this situation is so large that I can't wrap my head around it. A living planet eating its way through space? That's beyond my imagination. Yeah, and beyond mine too. Wow, that's kind of a big deal. But it's true. Delta is real. The moon cell closing itself off. Mysterious enemy programs appearing in Seraph. And the white servant with her ravaging power. She is every bit the destroyer she claims to be. Okay, now we can mute Mike. それこそがセラフを蹂躙し奏者を苦しめる諸悪の根源敵の名であるのだとなテルズマー・アバウト・レガリア1万4千年周期で訪れる優勢ベルバーそれに対処する防護策の一つがレガリア Okay, okay, before we go on here, um, okay, so we now know that Velper is a planet, a very, very nasty planet, and we now know that it attacks every 14,000 years. Why the hell does it attack? Why is it evil? And apparently this Altira woman in the white, it comes from that planet, which I suppose is no real surprise considering she's a bit of a meanie. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't have thought good people would come from Velba. Not if it attacks things. Poor Earth. You read that bit, right? It destroyed Earth, basically. Doesn't that be nice? So, yeah. And... Oh yeah. Not a very nice planet. But why does it attack? 
。ムーンセルが持つ権限を一時的に第三者に譲渡するシステムです。神王の携帯変身はその英霊の特性とは別にムーンセルそのものから力を引き出したものあれは対ベルバーに特化した携帯なのでしょうレバリアの権限でムーンセルの力を組み上げ自分の思うままに特性を変化させたというのだなしかしあの適正プログラムは何なのだやはりベルバーに属するものなのか恐れながらまさしくご明察の通りキャスターが放築していたものも英霊アルテラが率いていた軍隊もベルバーの細胞に侵食され変貌したもの1万4千年前このムーンセル内部に侵入し排除しきれなかった優勢の先兵アンチセルなのですムーンセルはアンチセルを排除できなかった未明領域に彼らを封印するしかなかったその封印もすでに破られましたがですのでお忘れなきようにレガリアは対ベルバー用の霊装アルテラを撃つための武器なのですそうかそうなのかてっきり弱ムーンセルがもたらした奏者との結婚指輪か何かとばかり真実のレガリアとはそうロマンチックなものではないのだなちょっぴり残念だぞいやうん分かってはいたのだきっとそういう真面目なものだとまあよいくれるものはもらっておくレガリアの進化が武器ならば使いこなすまで世の才を持ってすればたやすいことや。We also learned a bit about the Gallia. Apparently, it's not just the ring because there's like.、Uh, was it two? Two or three rings? And Saber has one of them. I'm not surprised if Altira has one as well. Although, I don't think we've seen hers yet. And. Didn't Castor have one? No one would be surprised actually if Altira did have one because it seems like. Because Castor. Tomamono May or something was her name. And then Saber, they both have like the Praetor,、uh, the, the girl there sitting in white on the chair there in, the,、uh, in this、uh, cutscene.、Uh, so, yeah, maybe everyone that has a Praetor has the ring, which I thought was known as the Brigalia. It's powerful and stuff. But apparently, it's something else. It's not just the ring because it also apparently protects this planet that these guys are on. So, I'm getting confused. I'm getting really confused with this, this、uh, game's story.、Uh, I, I, think I, I think that's what this game's trying to tell us at the minute.、Uh, yeah, so the regalia is not just a ring, it's something else that protects this planet from、uh, Valber, apparently. So, yeah. Well, they have to be pretty organized if they know it's every 14,000 years that Valber attacks. So I don't know why they attack, but yeah. Anyway, tell us more about Altira. Ere Altera. Kanojo at Chuni Okeru Ere des. Sorega, Sarban Totoste, Serafni Sonzai Steir. Ikanar Ryuka, you say me Erabare. その手足となって神王に敵対している状態ですセラフに現れた黒い適性プログラムは優勢の細胞に侵食され変化してしまったベルバーの増標たちそしてその兵を指揮する者がアンチセルベルバーが文明を捕食する際その領域に放つコマンダーですねアルテラはそのコマンダーです
あれは未明領域の封印を解き最悪をよみがえらせようとしている Well, is that a surprise? Not really. So now we know that Altira is basically Velber's weapon. Basically. And Altira controls an army of cells and soldiers. Well, basically, they're the same thing. But yeah, she basically controls an army, is what I'm trying to get out of. And yeah, so she's basically. Been brought from Velba to this planet and wants to bring ruin, as it says right there. And not only that, but she wants to also fight Poro Saber. She wants to kick seven bells out of Poro Saber. That's not very nice. That's not very nice, Altira. That's not very nice. I don't like this Altira person. I've, I've only seen her a few times. I don't really like her. No, she doesn't like her. Anyway, just keep going. Kanzenaregaria,我们是サーバントを、ムーンセルの化身であると仮定するならば、アルテラは、優勢の化身に相当する存在でしょう。さらにはレガリアの一部までも有し、今や彼女は市場を稀に見る強大なサーバントとして
おそらく捕食優勢ベルガーの一部1万4千年前に太陽系に現れ地球と月を滅亡寸前まで追い込んだ巨神と思われます巨神ベルバーは優勢ではなかったのかベルバーとて優勢惑星に衝突しては自らも損壊するですので優勢は先兵をその文明に送りつける1万4千年前に使用された先兵がその巨神なのでしょうこの巨神は未明領域で眠っていたと思われますが優勢の接近で目を覚ましたそういうのだなはいとはいえすでにムーンセルに敗れ瀕死だったものです未明領域の闇の中でようやく存命できるほど外に出れば自戒するあくまで旧世代の先兵ですだからこそベルバーは新しい先兵を欲しがった OK so I get it now フェルバーは、basically、ハッドアウェポン、オンス・タイタン、ウィッシュ・コントロール、basically、ウィッシュ・ノザ・ロッティーラ。That sounds like it was another old Tira. And they controlled soldiers that went out and attacked planets and yeah, did a number on Earth and by the sounds of it, other planets too. And so yeah, and apparently it's going to reawaken. And try and do, do more damage to even more planets. Damn. So, yeah, that doesn't sound very good, does it? Hmm. At least we now know what attacked Felber, because, come on, planets can't really attack, can they? I mean, imagine two little balls just. <laughs> Damn, it's funny even thinking about it. Two little balls just trying to kill each other. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Okay. Sai Sekin Stitzar Belbava, Mime Loikin no Cosareta Bunshin, Kyoshin or Yoshita, Shugeki or Okonatano de Show. Soshita. レガリア継承の準備を進めていた私を襲い彼女の電脳体を三つに引き裂いた Wait, what? It split us in at three pieces? Well, I suppose that would make sense because there is three of the Praetor or as I called her in this, Selfie Molly So, yeah, but that, that's, that's pretty powerful, and the fact that she's still around, I mean, the Praetor,、uh, I don't think she's a woman anyway, she can't be, now, in fact, I don't think she is at all, so, um, but, but, uh, since Mr. Brainbox has just mentioned that now, it actually makes me think and realize that's probably why he knows so much, is because He was with the Praetor back when they attacked. That would mean he's 14,000 years old. That can't be right. Wait, no, he's. A, he might, unless he's a servant. I mean, servants seem to last for ages, don't they? I mean, I think. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> oh my god. This game's story is, so, is, is gonna make my head explode.、I'm、trying to like grasp it, it's gonna make my head explode. But, yeah. So that's probably why he knows so much anyway. Unless he's just being. Unless he. Wait, 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 wait. It could be a researcher. It could be a researcher. I didn't think of that. It might be a researcher. You know, I should have looked at my past videos, or at least the gallery videos, to get some idea as to why he knows so much. But because I didn't play for a while and I didn't, I'm pretty damn clueless. When I probably shouldn't know, but yeah, I don't. Anyway, let's get going. 
肉体は転移させられなかったすでに敵に囚われていたからです巨神は崩壊したものの敵はマスターを獲得しムーンセル内で自由に活動できるものサーバントを召喚することに成功したそれがあの白い英霊アルテラ彼女は地球の生命でありながら優勢に組みした悪鬼です肉体は捕らえられ強引にマスターとして利用されているのです、うん、まあよいあやつが我が奏者を捕らえていることは明白だ世も念のために尋ねようレガリアを取り戻しここにいる奏者と3人目とを逃亡すれば消滅の危機は消えるのだなはいまず間違いなくキャスターによって連れ去られた魂は行方不明ではありますがアルテラのレガリアと一体となっている肉体があれば消え去ることはありませんご安心くださいその場合魂はどうなる再統合にあたって呼び寄せられたりはするのか呼び寄せられるでしょう現在別れ独立しているのは三すくみ状態だからです精神と肉体が一つになればその器に決定しますとなれば残る魂はおのずと本体に帰るものなるほどより強いものに引き寄せられるということだなだがそれを魂が拒んだ場合どうなる拒むことはできません精神と肉体が一つになった時点で残りの一つは統合されるのですああただそうですねそれは面白い考察です神王三要素のどれかが不慮の事故で消滅した場合それは他の2要素のどれかに統合されますいえ新しく発生すると言うべきか OK OK so basically basically the prior to is invincible is this what this guy is saying? because it sounds like it it sounds like the prior to is invincible because if other parts of her die then it will call for a replacement so she can't die And thankfully, thanks to Regalia, she will hopefully not fade neither. So, yeah. And I kind of feel like an idiot too. I mean, I said before that she's not a human. I don't even know why I thought she was, because basically there's three of them. I mean, what sort of human like would be, would like have three clones? So, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So, Yeah, okay, 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 let's keep going. Tato Eva no Hanashi, Tamashi ga caster ni yotte korosareta, to shimashou. So no bai, tashka ni Tamashi wa ushinaware mas. Desu ga, arata na Tamashi no y o s And so basically, this is why the Praetor. Well, didn't the Praetor like, not know anything about this? Because she never talks about it. And like, because she's got amnesia or something? Could it be because her like, her body was split and that's why. She, what? Did this guy say what part we have? Was it the mind? Did we have the mind? Because like, from reading this, it's like the body. Mind and the soul of all split into three. I can't remember we said part we had. Either way, I think she's like, it can't be the mind or else she's got amnesia because she doesn't seem to say anything about all this. That's why Mr. Brainboxy is explaining instead. So. Okay. <laughs> 
精神と魂が何者かに殺害された場合それらの要素は肉体に戻りますアルテラは神王とキャスターを倒し殺害すれば自然と万全のマスターを手に入れられるということですその点においては肉体の奏者を抑えているアルテラが有利ということか<笑>ますますどしがたいだが良い魂であれ肉体であれどちらか片方を取り戻せば奏者は助かるのだあるしかし昭和ルギツネに続いて星よりの死者とはなぜなのだキャスターはまだ良い獣であろうと奏者の魅力からは逃れられるものではないからな星か星に求められるとはなぜそんなにモテモテなのだ奏者よオッケー !Reading time! I should have brought my specs with me. I don't really have them. Ah,、uh, okay, that's a fair question. I can understand save this concept. But there are bigger issues at stake. We've gone from a serious discussion to a chat about love. To be honest, again, I don't think we ever left the subject of love. I mean, have you seen the past cutscenes? I'm not gonna describe or go into detail. They are kind of raunchy, in a sense. Yeah. Actually, I don't. I really don't have bad memories, bad pictures in my head.、Uh, you know, when I'm a female and you've got Saber's a female, and it's kind of like a love story between those two. Yeah, it's not really my cup of tea. So、let's move on. <laughs> Hopefully, I get these images out of my head. I can see. No offense or anything, by the way. I can see Archimedes is trying to force a friendly smile. Saber, it's time to focus, don't you think? Okay, well, that's the cutscene we missed. So we can now progress with the game. And again, I apologize, but you know, technical issues, they will and can happen. So, yeah. <laughs> 